Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode of the Ferrari build, we're gonna talk the front suspension. So, I've got some parts in, we've got some stuff mocked up. Let's head over to take a look at the pieces that we're gonna be using. So, here we've got the suspension arm, the upper control arm from a C5 Corvette. This is the one from a 355. And then, here is what we're gonna be using for a spindle. This is the C5 Corvette spindle and hub, obviously. And this is not from a C5, but is the C6 J56 brake option, their big brake kit that has the large six piston um, brake calipers that go with it. And so the reason things have been kind of slow is I designed and am getting some pieces cut up um, and they just have been a little bit uh, slow moving, you know. So I did get one of them back and that's what we're gonna look at today. So the first issue that we ran into when trying to use the C5 spindle is the upper control arm has the ball joint not in it. It actually has the part that the ball joint slips into and is reamed out for. So that's what we're going to take care of first. The upper control arm for the 355 doesn't have that. The ball joint would actually slide in here and go down into the spindle. So I have been waiting on this little plate that I got cut. This one is just a raw one, not cleaned up or anything yet. We will get that cleaned up. So what it does is it goes right over here and then this is going to be put in there and we're going to weld it in place like so. You see how it's at kind of an angle like the upper control arm piece is for the C5. Yeah, so we're gonna take that, weld one up, and uh, put the front suspension together. So I have already taken the liberty so I didn't have to get out the welder and stuff for the video, and put a little tack weld on one in a place where I believe it needs to be. So we're gonna take this piece here, I'm gonna bolt it back up top where it needs to go to, and we're gonna take it over the car real quick, put it all together, see how it fits. All right guys, so we're back over here at the car now, and I have the pieces with me. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of throw things together and uh, bolt it up real quick, nothing super tight or completely uh, torqued down or anything like that. We're just gonna put it together and make sure that everything uh, sort of fits the way it should. All right. All right, one thing to note that this is still the factory 355 style of lower or lower ball joints. So I have uh, designed and have these pieces being cut. So this is part of what we're waiting on as well. Um, so this isn't actually gonna fit in the bottom of the spindle. Uh, very well. However, it will sit there and show us kind of what it's supposed to look like. Um, yeah, when that comes, we'll get uh, that put together. Should be here hopefully in the next few days, I'm hoping. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Just a waiting game at this point, so. All right, so here you can kind of see how that fits the upper ball joint. You know, obviously goes through the reamed out sleeve that I've got in there when it's bolted down. And yeah, tighten up the nut. It'll go in kind of like it should and throw the rotor and a wheel on, see what it looks like. All right, so there it is on there. Now I do realize that this um, mount for the steering rack is on the wrong side. Doesn't matter, the spindle itself still uses the same mounting points. It's just backwards. This is just the one I had that uh, was off 
have my part shelf, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna use that one for now. Um, that's it, pretty much bolted together. Spins around real nice, smooth, no issues uh, with anything. And yeah, it, uh, it's looking good at this point. Let's get it uh, mounted up, see what it looks like. That's it. Looking good. Looking good. Obviously it's hitting the frame that the car is still sitting on. But yeah, that fits, that looks good. And I think it's gonna work out for us pretty well. It uh, is gonna have just the right amount of camera to start with. And then I do believe we may add just a touch more depending on what style of wheel we go with and where it sits inside the fender. But um, yeah, I have uh, the fender over here that we'll grab. Just slide it back in place real quick for a second. Just that way we can show you just how much more offset we're gonna add to the wheel. So I think we're probably going to add about 20 millimeters, maybe 15 millimeters to the offset of the wheel. Obviously that's negative offset. Uh, that way it brings the edge of the wheel out, lines up a little bit more with the fender, gives it a little more aggressive look. So that's it for now. Um, see you back in just a little bit when we have more parts. Just like that, or a few days later. Now we've got a couple of the other parts that we've been waiting on in the shop now. So let's take a look at them and see what we've got for the bottom part of the uh, control arm. So we're gonna be making the ball joint adapter for the bottom since the ball joint on the Corvette spindle that we saw a little bit earlier in the video is bigger than it is for the Ferrari spindle. So here's what we've got. Now these are some more pieces that I got cut from uh, the online company OSH Cut that I've been using. They are quite good at, uh, at getting the specs just perfect as long as your DXF file that you send them is pretty good. So obviously when you get them you do have to clean them up. This side that it wasn't the uh, the bottom looks pretty good but the side that is here and, and looks like it needs to be cleaned up definitely will need to be cleaned up. Now these are the sides and this right here is the bottom plate where the ball drain will obviously press through here this is just a bend line that we've got and we'll be using a pair of spacers to make up the right width inside of that. So that's what we're going to be using for that. We've got in the ball joint that we're going to be using. This is just a cheap one while we make sure that everything uh, works. And this is the ball joint that we've been using. This is one of the Ferrari replacement ball joints and uh, what I made the designs for this off of. As you can see it kind of replicates that with just a little bit of a difference. And then down here you can see the one that I've already cleaned up. So this one here has been cleaned up already and I did already bend it into the bend line that it needs to be to match this bend line right here. And then I put the two spacers in there and we're just about ready to get this one welded up or tack welded together and uh, see if this whole ball joint setup that I've put together here works with the uh, spindle that we've got over on the car already. So let me take just a second, get you set up in a different spot and uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get this welded together and see what it looks like. All right guys, so we got you set up in a little bit different area now, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and tack weld the uh, lower ball joint adapter together. So yeah, let's get to it. Well guys, there it is. Not completely welded together, and it kinda looks ugly in a couple of spots here, but for now, I will clean this up a little bit, as this is just the prototype, and then we will see uh, just how well it fits on the car over there. So yeah, let's go ahead and clean this up a touch before we try that out. All 
There it is, just cleaned up the edges a little bit. That way it would fit inside like it usually would. Haven't done anything else in here yet. However, we will go ahead and clean up a few of those little things before we actually finish it up and get it powder coated. But for now, it is ready to do a little bit of a test. So we're gonna give her a little bit of test and see uh, what happens. We'll see you back here in a bit. All right guys, so we're back over here by the car and what we're gonna do is just do a super quick fit up of this. Uh, we're not gonna bolt everything in, not gonna bolt everything on. Um, we're just gonna fit it up, kinda see where we're at with uh, everything put together. Just generally, nothing's gonna be tight or anything like that, so we'll see what things look like. Now that we've got this in, now we can see where our camber is going to be at for the spindle. And I do believe that we might have to change that up a little bit on the upper mount, which is fine because I kind of want to after looking at a few other things. It might be better off if we have a little bit different offset on the top than we do currently. So yeah, let's take a look and see what it looks like here. Bolts on, simple as that, right onto the factory lower control arm mount where it normally would. Bolts on like so. Spindle goes up, looks fine. All right, again, let's throw the uh, rotor that we've got on here. And our mock-up wheel that we're using. And then we'll do a quick bolt on and see where we're at with the camber. So, things are looking like they have a little bit more camber than I want now. That is for sure. Like I said, that is going to be fixed when we change up um, the upper mount just a touch. So the uh, upper adapter that I made, we're going to move it outwards just a little bit and make up for that camber. So I will uh, change that design a little bit on the next one, but yeah. Things look good here, so, all right guys, we'll see you in the next episode. I've got a few other things ordered. We're getting ready to start on the back now that the front is pretty good to go. Like I said, I'll change the upper control arm uh, adapter a little bit, but yeah, things are looking good. I'm quite happy so far, so let me know what you think.